Okay, so today at Gold Key Farms, we're working on getting the field cultivator finally prepped, the very last preparations for it, which is, I've got it focused right now. Um, since I don't have my cameraman, I'm behind the camera right now, and then I'm gonna go and I'm going to uh, illustrate to you how to put a standard in, what's all um, part of that job. So, here we go. I'm gonna come over here and show you what's, what we got going on. All right, so you can see that I've already replaced shovels. These are all the shovels down here. They've all been replaced because, well, they all were really worn out. And this is a good shovel of what I had and replacing all the new ones. Anyways, that's not what we're working on today. We're working on replacing this piece right here. And this piece goes in here. So what we're gonna do is this. You've got your handy dandy tool. This tool goes in this spring. Bear with me. Uh, you put this bolt in here. Once you put the bolt in, then you're going to use this wrench and this bolt to tighten up this spring so that we can get this thing out and put the new one in. So, as I'm doing this, <laughs> I've already replaced 20 on this field cultivator and this is probably one of the better ones that I'm going to take out here. So it won't be the best example of why I'm replacing it. But I will point out to you why I'm doing that. Um, so now, since we've got the tension off, you can see the tension's off. Um, now we take our wonderful impact wrench, which is a nice Milwaukee tool. We take that, 15 16 put it on brake. Always good to have it on break. Fasten up here, grab it, and then we let it pop. Well, that's a tough one. He does not want to come loose. you always run into when you're working on things. Some go real easy. This has been the hardest one that I've had so far. Can't think. I've done 20 of them. Voila! There we go. Alright. Good thing they weren't all that hard. Alright, so now that the pressure's off and the nuts off that side. Bolt out. Once the bolt is out, once the bolt is out, then the next step is we have to take this back off. We have to take this off up here. So now we loosen her back up, loosen it down so there's no tension on the spring. You'll see the joy of this. This is um, an activity that you do to keep your field cultivator in top working condition because you want the field cultivator to be in great working order so that you have a really good seed bed. Because without a good seed bed, the seeds are not going to get off to a good start. Take out that big spring. Always have knee pads on when you do this job. 
job too. Saves your knees. Best thing that you could ever do. So now we take our impact wrench, change our sockets, and now we'll take this piece off. That's the way they're supposed to go loose. Obviously, these two are the same things, but what I've got here is a piece, and I have a piece that goes in here, a brand new one, but they have an inside bushing and an outer bushing, and if you watch this, look, I've got the inside bushing all in crumbles, and yes, you can change the bushing just by themselves, but sometimes what happens, and what I decided to do this year, is I just decided I'm going to change all these out have so really nice tight shanks up in the front row and I could probably use some of these for later on if they wear out because if they go too long that gets to look like an oval like an egg so let's get back to putting this together so we can finish up with that. That's what replaces it. Then we come back over here. Now we have the fun part. We get to take our spring. We put our spring back on here. It's got to go a particular way, so you have to pay attention. Put your spring there. They have this tool. Let's make sure we got plenty of plenty of give up here. So now take that, raise this back up, put that bolt back in, and then, ready for that, let's make sure our nice new bushing is in, then we come back up here, oops, let's get on the outside, so we can make full revolutions. I'll go a whole lot faster than being crammed up inside. So now, let's go around and around. We're going to get him tightened back up. You got to get tension back on. And then what will happen is he will come right up in that slot. So we'll keep on doing that. Get him cranked right up there. Keep going. Round and around. How many times do you go around? When you go around, 
until you until you're done. That's how many times. Are we there yet? Oh boy, I think we might be. Let's just see. All right, so let's see if we can get that bolt in there. We sure can. Put the nut on the other side. Socket size on the impact wrench back to our handy dandy 15 16. Okay, 15 16. It is on Titan. We grab our wrench and let's let's let her let's let her go. Let's tighten her back up. There we go. That's that one. Now he's tight. Step. Take and undo this. And there we go. He's going to be loose. Take that. Take that out of there. Handy tool that John Deere provides you with to change these things out. So that is how you change what is called the standard. I do have a couple of the actual C shanks themselves. They're on order because our friendly local John Deere dealer did not have those in stock. Um, somebody came and wiped them all out the other day. They took what they had in stock, so a couple are on back order. I do have to replace about two or three on this fuel cultivator. <coughs> and why do I have to replace those? Well, because they got bent, um, and they were bent, I think, when I bought the thing. Um, you know, you might hit a big rock and it goes way back. It takes 200, 200 pounds or more of force to trip these. But if you hit a huge boulder that's like this, that can even bend that shank. But anyways, thanks for watching. And that's the video for today.